Okay, first kali saya nak cerita tentang structure of Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus ni, it is a stack of flattened membranous sacs called cisternae with lumen. Maknanya, ya dia bentuk dia leper. Lepas tu macam ada ruang kat tu dia sac. Faham? Oh. Lepas tu, uh, each sacs are not physically connected. Maknanya dia satu-satu tu dia tak bersambung. Cis face, which is the entry face, dia face the rough ER to receive transport vesicles. Cis face tu yang tengok kat gambar tu yang dekat atas tu. Dia macam bahagian yang kecil. Trans face, exit face kat belakang tu facing the plasma membrane new vesicle but off and transported out to Golgi body. Function Golgi apparatus ni untuk receive, modify, package, sort and transport protein, carbohydrate and lipid from endoplasmic reticulum to other parts of the cell. Um, Golgi apparatus Another function of Golgi apparatus is they produce lysosome by addition of hydrolytic acid to endosomes from Golgi apparatus. Next, Golgi apparatus produce polysaccharides for the cell wall formation in plants. Okay, saya nak tanya presenter, what's the difference between Golgi apparatus and endoplasmic reticulum in terms of structure? What's the difference? Hmm. In terms of structure, what's the difference between, what's the um, obvious difference between Golgi apparatus and also endoplasmic reticulum? Endoplasmic reticulum ada ribosome. Okay. Uh, kalau in terms of smooth endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus and smooth um, reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum connected. Golgi okay. apparatus tak connected. Yeah, very good. So the obvious different, the obvious difference of structure between Golgi apparatus and endoplasmic reticulum is Golgi apparatus is not connected. Okay, dia tak connected. Highlight kan word tu. Okay, itu adalah the first one, the first different. Okay, and then uh, yang C space kat situ facing mana? C space facing what? Rough endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum. Kalau trans space facing? Plasma membrane. Okay, so in terms of kalau saya nak awak buat arrow. Cuba buat arrow. Dia arrow tu daripada mana ke mana? C space to trans space or trans space to C space? Buat air orang kau. Kita mesti yang kena buat. From where to where? Cis face to trans face. Yes. Tambahkan air orang. So the movement of substances will move from cis face to the trans face. So dia akan, dia akan terima daripada mana? Apa dia punya function kat situ? Ada lima function dia ya. Awak tengok. Uh, bukan ada lima. Dia basically the first one tu dia akan buat something sampai lima. Okay, so dia akan receive, receive apa? Protein, carbohydrate and lipid from, daripada mana? From endoplasmic to other parts of cell. Yes, dia akan receive protein, carbohydrate and lipid from ER, from C-space to other parts of the cell. Hafal terus, dia akan receive, dia akan modify, dia akan package, dia akan sort, dia akan transport. Dia macam nak kata, kalau saya dalam kelas saya selalu sebut, dia macam seller dekat sofa. Ha, bayangkanlah awak ni mungkinlah, saya tahu mungkin ada antara korang yang memang seller uh, dekat Shopee. So you receive the, apa, receive the, the purchase kan. Awak terima uh, pembelian dan dia cakap, kenapa suara tu? Boleh tak tolong tutup kejap, Azza Shah? Suara saya saya rasa, uh, okay. 
So basically awak akan terima link uh, awak uh, as a seller from Shopee you guys akan uh, buat lima benda. You akan receive the information, receive information from the buyer and then you akan modify kan apa uh, item tu and then you akan you akan package kan dia. Uh, and then you akan sort kan dia and then you akan post kan dia, transport kan dia. So basically ada lima function dia uh, untuk yang point pertama. So apa dia buat? Dia akan buat lima tu, protein, karbohidrat and lipid. Ingat je, tiga tu. Then dia akan produce lysosome highlight kan. Nanti saya akan tanya eh. Dia akan uh, lysosome is produced in Golgi apparatus. Yang mana adalah lysosome? Tunjukkan kat dalam buku awak tu, lysosome. Lysosome adalah yang mana? Dia basically ingat ya, dia adalah kat situ dia adalah secretory vesicle. Secretory vesicle is actually the vesicle which is uh, produced from Golgi apparatus. Sec secretory vesicle meaning that the vesicle that contains something which will be released out from the cell. Sebab apa akan berlaku? The vesicle for example kalau vesikal tu boleh jadi macam-macam. One of them is lysosome. Boleh juga dalam tu adalah dia ada um, protein. Boleh juga dia ada lipid dalam tu. Kalau dia adalah lysosome, it contain lysozyme. Lysozyme is the hydrolytic enzyme. That's why dia dipanggil lysosome. Kau nak akan present lepas ni. And then dia akan release out to the plasma membrane. So that's why lah awak boleh tengok. Dia, dia bila terhasil, dia pergi mana lepas terhasil vesikal tu? It will be, it will fuse with plasma membrane and release out. Dia akan bercantum dengan plasma membrane dan release keluar. Okay. Alright. So, ada soalan? Untuk presenter. Okay, tak ada. Okay, presenter. Quick, two questions. Soalan saya, is Golgi apparatus a single membrane organelle or double membrane? Amirul Mukminin. Amirul lah tadi. Famous Amirul pagi ni. Oh, okay. Orang lain lah. Okay. Muhammad Ihsanuddin Fahmi. Ya. Yeah. Um. Just a good get practice is Uh, single Dia double okay. Are you sure? Dia, dia single Dia bukan double. double Yeah, dia ada single Sebab, sebab ni Sebab dia tak ada Uh, outer membrane, dia tak ada inner membrane oh. Kalau tengok balik dalam Proplast nucleus dengan Mitochondria dia ada Outer membrane, inner membrane Tapi kalau Golgi Apparatus Dia tak sebut pun Dia tak sebut pun apa uh, uh, Membrane outer ke inner Tapi kita tahu dia ada membrane So dia satu membrane saja. Okay Yeah next question What does the Golgi apparatus produce polysaccharides for? Nur Atira. Nur Atirah ada dua saya rasa. Satu kelas tu ada dua orang Nur Atirah. So, awak kena pilih seorang. Nur Atirah binti Syamsuddin. Uh, soalan apa? Um, what does the Golgi apparatus produce polysaccharides for? Dia produce polysaccharides ni untuk apa? For the cell wall formation in plants. Betul. Okay, betul? Betul. 
Okay. Oh, saya lupa. Amirul Mukmini tadi dah ada respon eh. Mat awak tak elok. Okay, tak apa. Teri sebab soalan untuk dia ya. Eh. Okay. So, kita proceed with the next present presenter which is for Centrios. Siapa Centrio? Aisyah. Okay, thank you presenter. So, Aisyah. Um, Miss bukan lain sosum dulu. Oh, lain sosum. Ah, betul-betul. Farah. Mana lain sosum awak eh? Oh ni, okay. So Farah? Ya yes, saya. Okay, boleh start? Start? Start eh? Um, like some appear in naturally as spherical bodies about 50 to 70 uh, nanometer in diameter uh, and are uh, bounded by a single membrane. Uh, lysosome can be found in animal cell. The structure of lysosome is it is small membranous set vesicle containing hydrolytic or digestive enzymes with acidic pH. Uh, lysosome enzyme made by proteins from the endoplasmic reticulum and enclosed within vesicles by the Golgi apparatus. Uh, the function of lysosome is intercellular digestion or to digest food particles or bacteria by phagocytosis. The other function is autolysis that is digestion of entire cell. Uh, the last function is autophagy that is recycle on own organic material or digest excess or worn out organic. That's all. Thank you. Apa uh, ni yang awak baca ni? Saya nak awak explain point pertama. Explain point pertama awak. Doesn't matter, you can explain in Malay. And this is some uh, appear in naturally as spherical bodies about 50 to 70 nanometers in diameter and are bounded by a single membrane. And the system can be found in animal cell. Uh, the structure of the... Apa? Plant cell tak ada lysosome ke? Ada tapi dia macam kecil je kot. Okay. Then? Uh, the, the structure of lysosome is it is small membranous set vesicle containing hydrolytic or digestive enzyme with acidic pH. Okay, apa maksudnya? Hmm. Apa yang dimaksudkan dengan small membranous sac? What does it mean by SAC? What do you understand by SAC? Banyak word SAC kita guna daripada endoplasmic articulum Golgi apparatus lysosome. What does it mean by sac? Uh, mana kawan-kawan yang lain ni? Apa maksud sac ni? S-A-C? Semua orang diam je tak ada soalan? Saya tanya. Apa maksud dia? A pass with the an animal or plant often containing a fluid or cyanobic sac. Saya nak in Malay terus. What does it mean? Translatekan saya. S-A-C. Kantong. Hmm, yes, it is like kantong, meaning that it contains something. So, lysosome contains what? Kenapa dipanggil lysosome? Sebab mempunyai enzim. What type of enzyme? What Digestive. enzyme is? Hmm? Digestive. Digestive? Enzyme. Nama lain bagi digestive enzyme? Hydrolytic. Hydrolytic enzyme. Nama lain bagi hydrolytic enzyme. Lyso. Siapa nak try? Lyso. Zyme. Yes, lysozyme. Nampak awak ni tak dia? Ah, itu Lyso. sebenarnya. Kalau awak cari extra information, memang bagi tahu. Kenapa dipanggil lysosom? Because of it has lysozyme. What is lysozyme? Lysozyme is, is hydrolytic enzyme meaning that it capable of digest something. Digest apa? Depends. Dia boleh digest apa? Ha, tengok kawan awak sebut tadi. Apa function dia? Ha. So dia boleh digest macam-macam. Macam mana sel, sel tu sendiri boleh digest itself. 
the cell can digest the cell meaning that dia boleh undergo suicide. Macam mana boleh undergo suicide? Ada lysozyme. Sebab apa? Dia boleh digest diri sendiri. Ah dia boleh digest food. Dia boleh juga digest worn out organel meaning that organel yang dah rosak ataupun organel yang dah expired. Ah yang dah lama yang dah expired tu ah dia boleh dia boleh um, digest meaning that dalam inilah function yang sangat penting dalam sel kita ni sebab Anything, anything yang rosak, anything yang dah expired, dia takkan disimpan. Dia tak, it won't be stored for, for, for forever. Sebab kita ada function lysozyme kat sini, lysosom yang akan break down. Okay, next apa lagi point yang kedua? Apa function dia? First, apa presenter? First function. Intercular digestion or to digest food particles or bacteria by phagocytosis. Okay. Apa maksudnya kat situ? Dia menggunakan bakteria untuk uh, memproses makanan. Ha menggunakan bakteria? Are you sure? Nak. Okay, nak explain itu. Apa maksud phagocytosis? Apa maksud intracellular digestion? Lugas kalau tak faham point boleh cari dan boleh tanya saya. Tak ada so, sebenarnya tak ada seorang pun presenter daripada sebelum-sebelum ni. Tak ada seorang pun tanya ni siapa maksud ni apa maksud ni. So saya assume awak okey je. Saya nak lepas ni presenter make sure saya tanya memang boleh jawab. What does it mean by intracellular digestion? Anyone? Digest benda yang dalam sel. Yes, intra apa maksud intra? within or inside the cell. So dia akan digest inside. So apa yang inside dia boleh digest class? Apa yang dia boleh digest inside Bacterian. the cell? Hmm? Bacteria and food particles. Bacteria and food particles. Macam mana boleh boleh dapat bacteria and food particles? Bukan ke it is from outside? Ini adalah intracellular digestion. Dia Macam mana? Akan, dia akan uh, pull that bacteria and food particles from the outside through phagocytosis process. Yes. How is phagocytosis looks like? Uh, Macam mana? Phagocytosis dia akan engulf. Pernah dengar perkataan engulf? E N tambah dan kau waktu. E N G U L F. Ni cari ya. Eh? Engulf meaning that from external to internal, from external to interior, dia akan engulf, dia masuk. Ha, cari perkataan engulf. Nanti awak terus jumpa macam mana bentuk dia. You guys sebenarnya dah cover ni dalam SPM ni. So basically food particles yang awak makan contohnya adalah apa? apa contohnya you guys makan nasi, starch. So it will be broken down until it forms glucose. So siapa yang akan break down kat sini? Salah satunya adalah lysozyme juga. Okay and then bacteria. So maybe you expose to the Uh, bacteria, like, apa contoh bacteria yang yang berbahaya. So kat sini, who will attack the bacteria? One of them is cell. Lysozyme ni sendiri yang akan undergo the breakdown of the bacteria. Next. Okay, saya bagi soalan eh. Saya bagi soalan awak kena pilih. Phagocytosis, autophagy, autolysis. Okay, saya sebut kat sini awak kena pilih. Okay, dia akan breakdown mitochondria. Autophagy. 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 Very good. Okay. Kalau dia akan digest the whole cell. Autolysis. 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 Good. Kalau dia akan digest um, drink yang awak minum. Probably drink yang awak minum tu contain sugar. Anda go? Phagocytosis. Okay. Ma cuba bayangkan, okay ingat lagi tak masa awak kecil dulu, masa awak dalam perut mak awak, ingat tak? Ingat lagi kan? Mesti saya, mesti saya ingat. Dalam perut mak awak dulu yang awak nakal pun yang main dalam perut mak awak tu. Okay macam mana tangan awak ni sebenarnya? Tangan awak ni sebenarnya, tengok tangan saya ni, dia Tangan kita ni, jari-jari kita ni, dia fuse to each other. 
kita ada webbed kita nak kata apa? Webbed feet. Ah dia macam kalau awak tengok tengok itik, awak perasan tak dia punya between dia punya fingers dia tu between the digit dia ada web. Ah dia webbed feet. Dia bercantum. Macam tu lah kita sebenarnya kat dalam dalam uh, perut mak awak uh, perut uh, mak kita dulu tu. Kita, kita punya jari ni saling bercantum. Dan sekarang ni awak tengok jari awak. Saya rasa most of us lah tak ada masalah ada 10. Kalau dulu tangan awak melekat. Tapi sekarang macam mana boleh ada 5. Ada 5 pula. Yelah 5 setiap tangan. Mimi dah ada 10. So proses apa tu? Proses yang mana? Ada tiga ni. Macam mana oh, awak boleh jari awak ni tak fuse to each other. Awak boleh pegang dengan something yang baik. Sedangkan kalau awak baby, unborn baby meaning that kalau awak memang masih kecil lagi uh, uh, kalau dalam perut awak dulu melekat. Sebab kita di dunia dalam water. Kalau awak hidup dalam water, if we live in water, awak boleh tengok jari awak lain. Uh, contohnya awak boleh tengok ada awak boleh tengok fish ha, dia memang ada webbed ha, dia punya tangannya uh, uh, apa tu attach to each other okey then undergo yang mana class autolysis autolysis very good kalau dia adalah tadpole to become toad ataupun tadpoles uh, to become frog undergo apa Tadpoles ada uh, tail and then frog awak tengok. Frog tak ada tails. Uh, dia ada kecil lah belakang ni. Ponggung dia tu. So basically macam mana tails dia boleh hilang? Anda go apa? Hmm. Dia go apa kelas? Cepat cepat. Autophagy. Autophagy. Autolysis. Dia digest the entire cells. Tu dia sebenarnya. So sebenarnya banyak je function autolysis atau phagy dengan phagocytosis uh, ambil je contoh-contoh. Banyak je contoh macam saya sebut tu. Two, two of the examples. Kalau boleh tengok lagi banyak lagi contoh-contoh. Uh, uh, ada juga contohnya macam kalau kita for example kalau kita sakit. You guys sakit kan? Perasan tak awak akan pegang macam contohnya kalau you guys demam and then pergi klinik. Doktor akan check um, neck awak ni. Uh, ada tak bump? Ada tak bump kan? Ada lump atau biasanya doktor akan sebut lump. L-U-M-P. Lump tu meaning that dia ada swollen. Ha, sebab apa ada swollen? Apa yang swell? Atau apa apa yang swell kat situ? Kenapa ada swollen or swell? Because of? Because of apa? Limb node. Limb node kita undergo nak kata limb, dalam limb node kita ni ada um, lymph, ada lymphocyte. Ada lymphocyte yang mana uh, macrophage yang lymphocyte. So it, Dua tu adalah antara immune cell. So bila awak sakit, immune cell kita akan increase in number. Dia akan undergo mitosis. Okay, dia akan increase in number banyak-banyak banyak. So apa so apa akan berlaku? Kita punya lymph node kita ni akan besar. Uh, akan bengkak. Uh, that's why dia swollen. Kita akan check kat situ. Kenapa itu adalah tanda positif. Badan kita tengah react. Tengah react to the disease actually. So apa akan berlaku after awak dah okay dah, dah sihat dah. Takkanlah. Bila awak sehat, dah tak ada dah. Swollen tu. Dah semakin berkurang. Kat mana perginya? Immune cell tadi increase in number. Now immune cell decrease in number. Dia undergo proses apa? Auto? Autolysis. Autolysis. Very good. Okay. So presenter ada soalan? Saya rasa saya nak skip. Uh, saya dah banyak tanya soalan. Saya nak proceed dulu sebab kita tak sempat. Okay, next adalah Centrio. Okay, laju lima minit sahaja. Saya tu lebih cakap lah. Um, miss.